Hola, 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 buenos días, good morning, bienvenidos al canal, my beautiful planner babes. It's your girl, Daniela, la planning diva. Oh my goodness, I'm in that sort of mood today, I guess. Anyways, this is a little bit of a different video. Um, I want to flip through my fitness planner and share my fitness journey, my entire fitness journey, um, from April of last year till April of this year. I actually have my fitness planner from April of 2022. And um, I took out those months and popped them into my tie-dye fitness planner, which is, this is the planner that I'm using currently for fitness. So this thing is getting pretty chunky and I kind of want to slim it down. So I thought it would be fun to flip through um, the entire year from April of 2022 until, um, honestly, until maybe the current month. And then once I flipped through everything, um, I think I'm going to tear out those pages and toss them and move on from those months. And this is probably one of the most frequent questions people ask me is whether I keep my planners, my planner pages. And sometimes I do and sometimes I don't. And with fitness, I haven't kept them ever since I started fitness planning. I'll keep them around for like a year or two. And then once, you know, I'm well into my current fitness planner of the year, I kind of just realize I don't really need those fitness pages from years past and I get rid of them. And it's nice that I make content, I make videos because I can make a video of it and I can forever capture that fitness planner. And so if I ever want to remember <laughs> what I did in terms of fitness in that year, I can go back and watch the video. Anyways, so this is my fitness planner. I love this thing. This is amazing. Still haven't set up my um, title page here, my, my name page, but that's okay. We have the year at a glance. I don't really use these pages, honestly, but I'm hoping to one day like figure out how to use those pages. And then we have the January overview here, but I have inserted um, a couple of months of fitness planner pages before we get into the first month of January because the tie-dye planner started in January and it's a 12 month that goes until December of this year. So back in 2022 i actually kind of had a major revelation and that major revelation was that i did not have to use fitness themed dividers for my fitness planner and that was something that I was constantly butting my head against the wall for i was kind of stuck on this idea that i had to use fitness planner dividers for my fitness planner and i didn't want to switch it up and then finally i did decide to switch it up i pulled for just these fun seasonal dividers and i loved it so much i had so much fun so i'm definitely going to step outside of the fitness planner box when it comes to fitness planning and if happy planner doesn't release a fitness planner that really speaks to me one year i'll just go ahead and adapt like a vertical planner or um, any other planner honestly to be a fitness planner or i can just grab the fitness planner that they do release and then a planner that um, i like the design of better and then smash the two together to make my perfect planner so this was from a seasonal whimsy planner i think it was a monthly so this is april 2022 um, as you can see, I didn't really use the monthly um, this month or some of the weeklies. And so a nice trick that I like to do is I like just sticking big stickers on any blank space so that way it fills up. I feel like there's less of a hole in my heart and I can move on. This week you can see I got back into it. I tried playing around with making each of the sections a particular thing. And look, this is before I had my Fitbit stat stickers. Oh my goodness. Wow. And then again, did some stuff here, nothing on this page. So I just popped in this beautiful lady, with some sticker, tried getting back into it this, uh, this week, my makeshift hydration trackers. I was going for a blue green theme here. Again, nothing going on on the overview. So I thought it'd be fun to pop in some magazine pictures and we have May and I repurposed this wrong, wrong divider. And actually I'm going to pull these pages out as we go and then pop them like over here and then i'm gonna hold on to this divider honestly this one's super cute so i'm gonna hold on to it 
um, the wrong wrong dividers. I've repurposed these. It's very, very cute. And then, ooh, look at this. May, I really got back into working out. Um, how I was using the work, the monthlies at this point was I would give myself a sticker for every day that I worked out. And, and then I would write what the workouts were. Kind of keep a monthly record here. Wow, look at that. I was really getting back into my fitness. Crushing it this week as well. This week, I could tell that um, things kind of slowed down the second half of the week. There's a lot of empty boxes. This is actually um, the week that I went out to Texas to visit my boyfriend. Um, we went to Big Bend National Park, so that's why this is all empty except for this hike here. But I could tell that I was running every day at least two miles. Wow, go me. And then <laughs> this week was also a bit of a miss nothing happening this week because i didn't get back until thursday so i flew back i think wednesday or thursday and then i just was really busy and just catching up with things so not much happened this week and then we just have a nice magazine image so i'm gonna get rid of these pages and i'm gonna keep my wrong wrong divider june again i'm repurposing this wrong wrong divider beautiful okay and then for the monthly i think i did a good job here i was kind of uh working out pretty consistently until the 17th and then i'm just walking for the rest of the month if i'm doing anything because this is when i had my first surgery so look at that look at my uh fitbit steps i was doing something different here i wasn't keeping track of the stats i was just keeping track of the numbers check out my hydration trackers those are fun um, ooh, I was doing like a rainbow theme this month because of pride. So yellow and green. Ooh, I was killing it this week, I could tell. And then I was, ooh, I don't think I was able to run very much. <laughs> I said I was going to run, but I didn't run at all. And then I had my surgery. And I was dehydrated for the pre-op surgery here. I went on a huge hike here. Well, not too huge. 5.2 mile hike and then i was just resting from my surgery wow the surgery was no joke working out is going to have to go i said and then here i'm just walking i'm just walking but i tried walking a lot a two-hour walk good good for me and then yeah nothing happened this last week of june and then um here i was trying to do some kind of reward system but it wasn't really working out for me Okay, let's pull these pages out. And then let's keep this divider. And then here we go. What a cute seasonal divider, this July divider. And then this is, as you can tell, kind of a mixed bag. I did try to keep track of my workouts, but as you can see from the stickers and the magazine collage, I just didn't do a lot. So I filled it up with stuff. This picture is from our hike. Me and Steven, my boyfriend, went up to San Gregorio, which is um, 11,000 feet, almost 12,000, 11,500 feet. And that was such an intense backpack. I think it was 19 miles. We did it over two days. And I was a little bit nervous because it had been at that point a little over a month since i had surgery and i was a little bit you know concerned about whether i was going to be able to do that but you know i was able to do it so nothing happened this first week of july and then this is fun i was doing little walking trackers with mildliner and i had like an ambitious workout plan didn't really do anything except a seven mile hike on tuesday that was nice Twenty thousand steps and then I'm journaling over here. It's been a while since I worked out consistently. Kind of scared to get back to it, but it's for my own good. Wow. And then nothing happened here, as you can tell. Nothing happened here. I think this weekend, the 23rd, 24th, is when we went to Gorgonio. So I was working out, but I just wasn't in my planner. Yeah, this month I was not really in here. So let's get rid of those pages. And then I'm definitely going to keep this one. And then we have August. Ooh, that one's super cute too. Ooh, nothing happened. <laughs> nothing happened this month, as you can tell from the stickers and the pages. Wow, I just took a complete break there. And I want to keep this one. Those dividers are from the um, seasonal monthly planner that came out a while ago. I think it was monthly. Either that or it was vertical. 
Um, this one's cute. Let's go on a road trip. I love it. I'm going to keep that divider for sure. And I was actually playing around with this new format. I had just gotten this new um, fitness planner from my Joann's and it's this style where you have the meal planning and then the exercise and the hydration tracker. And I was pretty good this month. I was writing down my workouts here. Ooh, 23,000 steps that day. There's a lot of walking though. Um, not a lot of, you know, more intense workouts. I think I was just getting back into working out. And so I was trying to walk a lot um, and just try to get back into it. I was also taking a break from meal planning at this time, so I was combining both of these planners in the same planner, which was really working out for me for this month. Um, I just needed to take a break from both meal planning and fitness planning and just smush them together. And even then, I wasn't really doing too much. Wow, look at that. Nothing going on. Ooh, and then I get back into it with a bang. Whew. Good for me, good for me. Tory Pines hike, 690 calories. Keeping track of everything I'm eating. I had my Fitbit steps here. Wow, and I stuck with it. Look at that. Walking a lot, but not doing too much besides that. There we go. So let's pull these out. Let's get rid of this one. And then let's save that one. Ooh, this one's so cute. October. Definitely keeping this one. And then I'm getting back into it. Look at that. I'm so happy. I'm starting to kind of use um, clean dot, clean color dot markers to mark out the different types of workouts. Orange was guac. Greens are run. Blue is like upper. Um, this dark blue is like upper body. Light blue is stretching. Um, purple's legs and I was really getting back into it in October look at that very proud of myself very happy with how this turned out oh these are my favorite hydration stickers of all time I kind of want to make my own version of this like water bottle with the um, infused um, fruit I think I'm going to try making my own but I was really getting back into working out in October, as you can tell. Um, hydration was a struggle, though. <laughs> oh, I love this. This is when I started using mild liners to mark out my Fitbit stats. And I think I'm going to try doing something similar, like making a sticker similar to this, where it's just kind of plain in terms of where, like, the um, different categories are just... Um, black text on a white background and then where you write is just a nice little rainbow stripe. I think I'm going to do that for the next Fitbit tracking sticker. But I'm really getting into my fitness. Um, still haven't figured out how I use the monthly overviews. So I'm going to pull this out, get rid of these pages. Definitely keeping this super cute October um, divider. And then we have November. Super cute. This is from the color block Mickey and Minnie. And I am getting back into my planner and fitness for sure. November, it's pretty good. Oh, ooh. Except for the first week, apparently. Second week, though, I'm killing it. I'm crushing it. I'm running a lot, um, but not a lot of lengthy runs. You can see that I'm barely going over a mile on some of these. Ooh, this is when I went to um, Texas to go drive back to California from Texas with my boyfriend. My boyfriend was moving back to California, so I flew out to Texas, and then we drove all the way back to San Diego. And we stopped by White Sands National Park, so that was that hike. And then you can tell that I'm trying to get back into it, but there's some workouts here that I didn't get to. But I think I was solidly in here. Went on a three-mile hike there. And then here I was trying to use this page, but I didn't really get into it. So let's get rid of these. And I'm going to save this one for sure. And then we have December. A very cute seasonal planner. Ooh, and I was trying to get back into the monthly here for December. And I was good for the first half. And then I completely dropped it because of the holidays. And this is nice. I am in here. Um, and then I'm in, I'm in the planner as well this week. Looks good. 
and then nothing because it's the Christmas week and then yeah nothing happened past the midpoint of December which I feel is pretty normal for everyone and then we have January I think I'm going to hold on to these um these pages for now because I want the entire year of fitness planner fitness planning um and I'll go through it at the end of this year in December and give you another flip through. But we'll go through the entire flip through up until um, March. So the first month in January, uh, I am in here, in and out. Um, I feel like I kind of skipped this first week, got into it for two weeks, and then kind of skipped the last week and a half. Sheesh. This week we went out to Sedona and the Grand Canyon. So we were road tripping. I wasn't really in here too much. Um, hiking a lot. Ooh, I was trying out different hydration trackers here. And these are all ideas for hydration trackers that I have. Ooh, this is when I had COVID. <laughs> so obviously nothing happened. Um, I was getting back into it, mostly walking. You can see here I'm doing stretching, legs. I'm trying to go for a run, yoga, trying to keep it light, my hydration trackers. Um, this is where I'm starting to realize that I'm going to have to make my own hydration trackers if I want to keep up with my hydration trackers every single day. Um, I found some random hydration trackers in a, fit, in a fitness pack somewhere, so I was using those. Ooh, hiked Cuyamaca Mountain, 7.5 miles. That was nice. Ooh, nothing going on here. Still not doing anything with the February or with the overview. And then we have February. Oh, this is the first time I'm really using my uh, my own stickers. This is one of the first sticker designs I made. And actually, I have just updated this one. This is actually the new version of the sticker. Um, I still haven't printed, uh, cut it out yet. I printed it out and I cut it with my Cricut. Um, but this is the new version here. I did some changes. Well, first of all, like I cleaned it up a lot. I cleaned it up quite a bit. You can maybe tell that um, this is hand completely hand drawn and then scanned and printed with no modifications. And then when I was laying down the pink marker, it kind of bled into the black ink I had. And so we have kind of like a dirtiness, like a black smear kind of smearing around the words and like the figure. And uh, I have been playing around with Photoshop, Photoshop a lot lately and really cleaning up those edges of all of the things. And so this is definitely the cleaned version of it. I don't know if you can tell. I added a cute little heart there. Um, I've just been playing around with Photoshop a lot and I love it. But this is the new version of the walking tracker sticker. I still need to cut that out. Okay, so this is February, playing around with the walking stickers. This is where I started playing around with pre-planning my workouts. And I can already tell right now that February was not the best month for me <laughs> because looking at that monthly, it looks like I really wasn't doing too much. So first week, <laughs> second week, oh, a running tracker sticker. My goodness. Okay, this is where I'm starting to get back into it. And this is where my own stickers um, really start coming out. Once I got my printer, I got my printer at the very beginning of the year, I was uh, printing so many things. I was sketching, drawing so many different trackers, things that I really felt I wanted for my fitness planner. And then I was printing them out on sticker paper and then just cutting them out with scissors. I just got a Cricut and so now I'm printing them out <coughs> and cutting them with the Cricut so I don't have to hand cut them. I'm also using Photoshop to really clean up the edges of stickers and um, I'm having such a good time with these stickers. So this is my new running tracker sticker. This is the latest version of my running tracker sticker. This was the first version that ever was produced. Um, I, and I'm slowly starting to convert all of my old stickers into Cricut cut stickers and like the new 2.0 version of these stickers because I'm also using Photoshop to really clean up the edges and give it that high quality print finish. So these are my new Fitbit stat stickers. I love them so much. Oh, oh my goodness. And I can tell that I am really getting back into fitness planning this week. I'm running, I'm hiking, I'm stretching. Hydration is still a struggle, but I can tell that I am really trying with my hydration tracker here. Fitbit stat stickers, I love them. 
Ooh, I'm running a lot here, drinking, staying hydrating, hitting those 10K steps, I'm walking quite a bit. I'm definitely feeling motivated with my fitness stickers. So that is fun. That was February. And then we have March, the body achieves what the mind believes. And ooh, I was getting back into using my March or my monthly. And I love all this washi tape that I have going on. And yep, you can tell that I am definitely back in it. Kind of. Um, I was supposed to run a lot this week and I just really didn't. I ran twice, got some walks in, but I am doing a lot better with my hydration, keeping track of my Fitbit stats. This is fun. Oh my goodness. Oh, this is the um, weekend I went out to the Mojave Desert with my lab for a lab retreat and I got a lot of steps in. I'm running pretty consistently. I'm hiking. So this is good. I'm starting to really get back into it. Ooh, this is when my um, split stretch stickers came out. And I'm running, I'm stretching, Fitbit stats, everything looks good. This is a good spread. This is also a good spread. I got some workouts in, Fitbit stats. Ooh, this is the weekend I went to Sedona again. So I'm hiking quite a bit here. I love that. Oh, and then this is the week we came back. And so I wasn't really in my fitness planner. I hiked a lot on Tuesday. We did three different hikes. We did Angel's Landing, the Weeping Rock Trail, and then the Watchman Trail. So we we're moving quite a bit. And then... This is April. So this is, ooh, okay. The first couple of weeks were a struggle here. And then I got back into my monthly. Ooh, nothing going on there, huh? And then we have a solid week. Not doing too much, but I am stretching. I am walking. I went salsa dancing. I'm hitting my 10K steps a lot of the times. And then we're really getting back into it. Um, I'm running quite a bit, not too lengthy of runs, but I'm getting back into it. So that's nice to see. And then what's going on here? Oh, I probably have the rest of the months in my, um, in my, uh, Franken planner over here. Yeah. So this is the last week in April right here. So I'm just going to pop this back in. And it's cute. I love how I use the florals here to try to make things new and interesting. Tried something different with the florals there. So nothing going on on the May uh, overview. And actually, I'm going to go ahead and pop out May because we're past May uh, here. So let me see. Let's pop out May. And actually, let me just go ahead and pull this last page. I think I'm going to try to change up these monthly overviews and not have them correspond to like the um, next month. Like I'm going to change this to the May overview, the May reflection. So I do the kind of the reflection on this page for the month. And that way I can keep the months together. Okay, so this is May. Ooh, I'm back into it. Lots of color here. It looks good. And I definitely feel like May I got back into fitness. So I'm running. Fitbit trackers look good. Ooh, this looks nice too. Not running every single day, but I am trying to run here and there. This one looks good as well. I ran 2.8 miles, 3.95 miles. Did a nice little hike there. Ooh. This is my new walking tracker sticker. I don't really like this one that much, not much. And then we have June. So actually I'm thinking of separating my fitness again. I go back and forth about having it in like, it's in like a Franken planner, but um, I kind of want to pull it out and put it back into this fitness planner. So I'm going to pull for the month of June here and put it back in i don't know i'm just kind of in the mood of wanting to have all of my fitness stuff in the same place so let's pull this out and to just give you a little quick overview of the june monthly the divide this is a divider and then um i haven't been keeping up with the monthly <laughs> but i haven't really been doing too much i feel um i've been walking a lot for the first couple of days i have been working out more since then but i haven't written it down um so this is obviously the first couple of days in june last couple of days in may 
I did run, I did a nice hike, but I've been walking a lot for my workout. But I have been getting back into it, so this was last week. And I still need to write down some stuff here. And then this is the current week. <sighs> this is my new Fitbit stat tracker. I was playing around with um, the sizing and I wanted to make sure that the new Fitbit stat stickers um, fit into this little box here. But I need to set this up, not in this video, um, but maybe when I come back from work, I'll film that video. So we have the rest of June. So let me pull out these months, pop them back in. So this is July. And then this is August. And then we have September. This turned out to be a setup video, a flip through and a setup video. Oh, and then we have some um, fitness workout sheets in the back here. Okay, I'm gonna pull these out. I also have some of those here and then I have some workouts um, listed out here. So if ever I want to do like a 15 minute ab workout, a 20 minute upper body workout, 20 minute leg and booty workout. Um, I write down all the workouts from the videos that I watch. So that way I don't have to watch the video while I do these workouts. I can be watching like YouTube or like a Netflix show I'm trying to keep up with. And then I can just do these um, workouts. Okay. And then I think I'm going to put these in the front though, honestly, like up here. And then I also have this. This is a leg muscle printout, and it's a good reference for me, but I kind of want to print it out a little bit smaller and then um, do something a little bit more interesting with it. It's like, I feel like it's kind of weird, just like topped into my planner like this. And I don't really like how it is like horizontal, whatever. Um, and then I'm going to pull for my folder here. I'll pop this in. And then I need to pop in the bookmarks. Let's see. So we're in June. I usually have two um, bookmarks in my fitness planner. I have the one on the weekly. So I'm going to pop this one here. And then tonight I'll come back and I'll fill in everything I needed to fill in for this week. And then start planning for this current week. I want to change up my bookmark for the monthly. I'm kind of tired of this one. I'm going to go with this Mickey one. And it already says month view on it, so that's nice. Okay, I'm also going to pull for this uh, fitness divider. This is perfect for like whenever I want a Franken planner and or Franken plan and I want to like divide all the sections. Um, it's a good little divider, so I'll pop that there in the front so I can just pull for that whenever I want to grab fitness pages and pop them in somewhere. I can grab this divider and divide the sections up. There we go. And so now this planner just has my meal planning in it, which is fine because the lemons kind of give that meal plan a vibe. Okay, so that's it for this video. Um, this planner is a lot thinner now. Uh, this makes me so happy now that the cover is fitness themed because whenever I was going into this planner, which is where I was keeping my fitness pages, um, it was, it's a Franken planner, has my meal planning and my fitness. It just felt weird to go to this like lemon planner for fitness. I wanted it to be kind of like fitness themed. Like I wanted the cover to be fitness themed. I wanted to grab the planner and feel like it was a fitness planner. I'm a little bit particular sometimes. Plus, I wanted to use this planner more. Like, it was sitting on my shelf um, because it was just really storing, you know, older fitness pages and then future fitness pages. But I want to have it on my desk and I want to see it and I want to pull for it often. So, I really like how this planner came out. So, now we just have January through December of this year. And then, once this planner is done, I'm probably going to hold on to the dividers. I do like the dividers quite a bit. Um, maybe I won't use them for another year or two. Like I, like I might pull for another planners dividers, um, just to give this one a break, but I really like these dividers and I like the theme, the tie dye theme. So I'm definitely going to save these as a set for like a future, um, fitness planner. Okay. That is the video. Thank you so much for checking it out. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week. Good luck with your fitness program. You can do it.
Start small and you'll definitely get to where you need to go. Okay, everyone, take care and happy planning. Adios.